Hey guys, it's Windy from Windy Star. Welcome back to my channel. So 2022 is the year of tiger. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint a tiger using watercolor. I'll talk about how I layer the color to create a blurry background and walk you through step by step how I complete this, this painting. Now, if you're ready, grab your pens and paper and let's start painting. Before painting, I used a masking tape to tape around the paper, and this will be the edge of the background. Then I refer to my reference photo and draw out the overall shape. It's quite important to have an actual sketch because it does affect the finished painting. I leave the background blank because I'm gonna paint a blurry background. Before coloring, I mix colors in advance so it's ready to use while painting. I like using a dropper to add water because I can get a larger amount of water at once. For the background, I'm using wet on wet techniques here. So I apply clean water first and make sure every edges cover a thin layer of clean water. And it should be nice and glossy if you see a small puddle that means you apply too much water. If that happens, simply dab it with a napkin and be careful not to get the tiger wet. While the paper is still wet, quickly add colors on so the color blends out nicely. It's a blurry background, just focus on painting the larger color black. Here I also add some greens around the button areas to enrich the color. Then I dry my brush and wipe out some lighter color areas on the cliff. And it doesn't have to be too detailed, just show out the rough shape. Small tip here, I squeeze the tip of my pen brush so it's easier to add texture on the cliff when painting, as you can see here. When the background is done, let it dry before painting the tiger. For the tiger, I first wet the paper using clean water and avoid the eyes and ear area because I want to leave it as white as the paper. While the paper is still wet, quickly add colors for the base layer. After that, I add darker shades on the tiger's body and make sure your brush doesn't contain too much water, otherwise the darker shades you add on will totally bleed out and create stains after drying. Next, I change to my smaller paintbrush and add all the darkest patterns on the tiger. I like to start around the eyes so I can see the overall contours more clearly.
When adding patterns on the body, follow the arch of the tiger's back to change where the pattern falls and directions. Now all the darkest patterns are done, so I can see more clearly which areas of the body need another layer to make it pop out more. And in this layer, the color should be darker than the base layer. I first add the brighter shades around the left side of the body because it has light reflections. Then I add darker shades around the shadow areas. I'm holding two brushes in hand, one for adding colors and the other one for softening hard edges with clean water, as you can see here. For the tongue, I first add the base layer on and paint out the darker shades where the tongue rolls and arches. Lastly, I use white color to add all the highlights. I use my smallest paintbrush to add the tiny hair around the jar and the whiskers. This step is quite important because this is what makes the whole painting pops out more. You can also use a white gel pen if you prefer, but I think it's a little too thick for painting whiskers.
Now the painting is well done here. Comment below and let me know if you have any questions. That's all for today's video. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you won't miss out on my new art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!